Mercedes SLK 230. This one's got a problem. It runs too rich. There's black reek coming out the back. The fault card was a compressor clutch, a magnetic clutch. It's not air conditioning, it's the compressor for the boost. See, it's free to turn there. It should only engage at about 2,200 RPM. Unfortunately, it comes on as soon as the ignition's on. Put the ignition on, and that clutch is now solid. You can't move it, and it just stays on the whole time. Now that's getting power. I'll just turn the ignition off. So it gets power from over here and all these wires. It's power from this relay down here, so it's getting power okay, but it gets its ground from over here uh, in the engine. That wire right there. So it's getting its ground from there, so it's the engine ECU telling it to be on all the time. Just gotta figure out why. The power came into this transistor right there. I'm showing there. And I've changed it for a new one to give it a try and see if we don't have the ground being switched on all the time. Hopefully now it's gonna switch it on and off when it's required. Other than that, it could be something controlling that transistor that's switching it on. But that was just something fairly cheap and easy to change or relatively easy to change. Hopefully it'll work. I'll try it in the car. I just had the transistor replaced and the ECU plugged back in. I'll put the cover on properly in a bit. I'm just going to put the ignition on and see what happens. the ignition on. If I lean down here, this time I can turn the pulley, so that's a good start. We'll start the car and see what happens. Watch is supposed to kick in when you pick the reps up. As you can see, it's not spinning now. I'll try and pick the reps up. It kicked in and stopped again. The only thing I need to know that this valve's working as well. But it wasn't doing that before, so we fixed one thing about the car. Just need to make sure this is working. This valve was staying open the whole time before, but when I picked the revs up, now it closes like it should do. And the clutch is kicking in and going out on the supercharger or the compressor like it should do as well. Looks like this one's a fix.